Welcome, everyone. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope everybody is doing all right. <laughs> Let's go, Brandon. Yeah, I wonder how long it is before our uh, YouTube overlords ban that phrase. It is a funny joke. I'll give you that. Funny joke. Uh, we have lots of rag bags this week. Um, five, to be exact. We've got the one, two, three, four, five. Finally actually had some rag bags uh, at the thrift stores that I've been heading to. So uh, hopefully we will can pull some super fire from these bags. Uh, we've sort of whiffed out the last few weeks. So I'm really hoping that changes. Um, hey, yeah, what's up, James and Corbin? I don't know. Uh, I'm trying to remember which one. James, right? Or is it Corbin? <laughs> But uh, yeah, we're gonna hopefully bring the heat. I, I this just proves these are not like fake. I'm like, like packing these bags. But um, uh, yeah, they're they're not fake. They're just if I get it, I, if it's good, it's good. If it's not, James Traverse City. Yeah, that's right. Um, I love Traverse City. Uh, I got when I was young. When I was a young boy, not a young boy. I was a I think probably 18 around about that time 18 or 19 i was out hitchhiking traveling the country you know riding freight trains stuff like that and got picked up by a really nice seventh day adventist lady like grandma in traverse city she drove us all around had a great time so uh yeah i have much love for traverse city uh in my experience it's been a it was probably that was like gosh uh almost 15 years ago now but uh all up and down the uh, Michigan uh, coast there. Had some good times. So glad to have you here, James, from Traverse City. You're, a, you're an OG, man. All right. So let's uh, let's go ahead and get into some of these bags. It's going to take us a little while to get through it. So um, remember, at any given time, you guys ask questions. I do have a bigger screen here I need to look at. Um, if you have vintage clothing questions or whatever, just let me know. and uh, Or any other questions about whatever we do. And uh, we'll do our best to answer. So here's our first bag. We've got it partially open. So let's go ahead and get into it. Striker tactical t-shirt. I don't think this is vintage. No, it's got a website on it. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. All right, so we do have a vintage t-shirt, or at least I'm pretty sure it's vintage. I have sold this t-shirt before. This one is super ratty. Um, Super worn in. I uh, do believe this is a vintage T-shirt, probably from the early, early to late not early two uh, thousands to late nineties, uh, maybe like two thousand two, two thousand three, something like that. Real close though. Uh, but I've sold this T-shirt for like fifteen, twenty bucks. For in fact, I think the last time I got this T-shirt was out of a rag bag. So um, we'll count it. We'll we'll count it because we need some wins every once in a while. Okay, it looks like. We got some more wolf tees, but this one is, I don't think is as vintage or vintage at all. This is on a newer HD cotton for the loom ta tag. Um, uh, let's see what else we got here. Woodland Christian Camp. Um, Aruba. Aruba. You guys, remember when that uh, that dude, that Dutch guy, that like got away with murder in Aruba? Kind of left a bad taste in my mouth for the Aruba. All right, so check this out. This is cool. So uh, this Bite Me logo, this is, says 1999. It might be. Um, but I've seen these. These are sort of like, this one is with, this one's from New Mexico. Uh, but the Bite Me logo, this Bite Me, it's like a sort of classic, not classic, but a, a recurring design you'll see at a lot of different, like, uh, uh, tourist attractions and stuff, they all have their own version of Bite Me. I had, I had, I sold one not too long ago from like the late 90s with a mosquito, and that was kind of a funny one. Uh, someone paid a good amount of money, I think like $25 for it. Uh, nothing. Um, all you like hardcore thrifters out there, <laughs> I had this idea, and you guys in the comments or in the chat, let me know what you think about it. Um, uh, but how many times do you go out and you're digging through the t-shirt racks at a thrift store 
and you come across those land of the free t-shirts um i'm thinking about starting an uh, instagram page just just for that t-shirt like a fan page of that t-shirt and so anytime that i find that t-shirt we'll just post a post a video or post a picture of it um because i swear I, I probably see three or four of them uh, like every trip. so um i know it's kind of a running joke it's just it doesn't make it it was funny because before i started thrifting hardcore i don't think i'd ever seen that t-shirt but it's been around for a while and i don't think i've ever seen anyone ever wear that t-shirt yes every shop exact i don't think i've ever seen anybody ever wear that t-shirt so it kind of makes me wonder like where in the world did that t-shirt come from like whose campaign was it and okay we got a we got a polo jeans t-shirt so this could be from like the early 2000s this is a girl t-shirt and it has been owned like owned by a dog owner or a cat owner even worse um but yeah that t-shirt is in every shop everywhere you go so i think i'm gonna oh okay so we got a not a vintage tee, but we got a Garth Brooks World Tour tee, 2014, 2015. Uh, tour tees, when they are actually dated, um, even if they're newer, uh, they can they can do pretty good because people, you know, maybe went to the tea, to the show, didn't get a t-shirt, they wanted a t-shirt, or they were sold out of one design or something. Uh, we got some like uh, mint candy. Oh, what is this? It's a panda, scuba diving panda. That's actually kind of cool. Hold on to that one. Uh, but yeah, so tortillas do okay. Not like huge money or anything, but you know, 15 bucks. <laughs> oh, so you've actually seen somebody wear it. Uh, it's funny because I don't think I've ever seen anyone wear it. And I live in the part of the world that would totally wear that t-shirt. But like, man, I, it's just fun. It's just fun. It's funny. It's funny. But I think I'm going to start that Instagram. I need... Like, of course, I say that, and I can hardly keep up with our own Instagram. Um, but you know, uh, maybe you know, it's it's a funny it's a funny joke, and I see it all the time. So I guess it's easy content. Uh, not vintage Pac-Man tee, man. That would be sick if you could actually find a legit '80s Pac-Man tee. I'm sure they're out there somewhere. They've got to be. Out there somewhere. Oh, nothing. All right, we're almost done with this first bag, which hasn't been too terrible. Um, though we do want to see some heavier hitters. I did. I think I don't know if I mentioned this last week, but I did talk to one of the employees. He's been there a long time. He's seen me for years. Um, because he's, he's like, why do you buy so many of these? And I let him know, like, we do a little show and we look for, you know, vintage T-shirts. Oh, we got John Anderson, another country T-shirt. This one might be, this was 2003. So we're, like, right there on the edge of vintage, maybe technically vintage. Or not technically, but in some cases. So we're going to hold on to that. Looks like an anthology tour or something like that. Or maybe the release of an anthology uh, album. John Anderson. I've sold some of his stuff. I think he did Seminole Wind. Um, and I've sold I sold that t-shirt a couple times in the past. Uh, I do get more country tees than I get, you know, pretty much anything else uh, out here as far as music tees are concerned. So maybe there's a few more. Oh, what's the... Okay. All right. So we do have a vintage band tee. Just as I say that, we have a single stitch, a perfect circle tee right here. Uh, I can't. I don't know if I can be super high definition on this because I don't want to get in trouble with the uh, YouTube overlords. But this is a perfect circle tee, single stitch. Um, never listened to Perfect Circle, but I do know their t-shirts go like do well. And this is on the All Sport events tag. This is a good tee. This is a bit. I, this could be actually quite a bit of money. Um, so yeah, this is, we did it guys. Check it out. We did it. It's probably not going to be the thumbnail, but, but yeah, hit for sure, dude. That's probably not going to be the thumbnail, but it's definitely a hit. Um, I have seen other, a perfect circle t-shirts go for good money. I don't necessarily know that that design is the biggest one, but, uh, maybe you guys know more about it than I do. Um, I never listened to a perfect circle, but, um, that is a, is a dope one. 
So yeah, I'm feeling good. Finally, guys, we got some. We got something. That was a, that was bag number one. So bag number two. Sometimes because they, you know, just aggregate all these um, t-shirts and bag them up. That some somebody's donation ends up in somebody else's. Actually, hold on a second. Okay. So I, this is a polo, and I'm I, I'm stopping just for a second because it has a. B and C tag, and it's probably hard for you guys to see with the resolution, but B and C European style. I've had a couple of people ask about B and C tags before, and I don't know much about them. I want to say that they're European. We actually have in our area in southern Missouri a lot of Russian immigrants. Um, so we get like sort of randomly like a bunch of like Russian uh Russian company clothes um, here and there. So I'm always just trying to figure out, particularly like Europe, when people do European prints um, uh, of like band tees and stuff, I, get, I see those a lot. So, uh, or people ask me about them a lot. I don't see them a lot, but a lot of our uh, foreign watchers uh, send me pictures wanting to know um, about those t-shirts. So try to, get as much information wherever I can because I obviously don't live in uh, okay uh, this is definitely not a rag uh, but okay so quick note you guys have probably run into these before these SI Sports Illustrated jackets I'm sure they were like this is a Broncos jacket I'm sure these were like you know send in this postcard and pay five bucks and get a jacket with your favorite team on it uh, but I remember early on, I would pick up these jackets thinking that, you know, it was something like a starter. Um, they're fairly worthless. Uh, at this one, there's a lot of them. Um, since I now already own this one, now that I bought this bag, I might keep it but um, and try to sell it. Um, but typically not something you want to pick up in the uh, in the in the and the racks uh, let's see got a bunch of collared western tees i don't sneeze at western tees because there are some older western tees that uh can bring in some serious money um all right let's see lots of uh lots of like polyester nylon and not super vintage materials in this bag. So uh, not the biggest of the bags. All right. Hope you guys are doing great tonight. Uh, maybe where you're at, it's already started getting cold. But today we had the storm front come through overnight and it got much cooler than it had been. Bungie. Oh, wait a minute. Is this uh, what is this? Who is this? Destiny or something? Someone tell me what this is. I don't know what it is, but um, don't know. So like Halo T-shirts that aren't necessarily technically vintage, but like from the early releases, they are. They command a decent price if you can find a good like Halo. Well, definitely Halo One, but Halo Two. Um. And three, and even Reach, I've sold for you know surprisingly good money. But these like promo tees that came out, maybe not if they're like from Walmart, but like the earlier stuff, which wasn't really in Walmart or anything. Um, all right, that was bag number two. Still got three more bags, and one of them's a bit bigger. So um, let's go, man. Let's let's get into it here. I mean that perfect circle tee probably makes up for like i'm gonna bet i'm gonna bet as far as value is concerned um buy this man a bud light as far as value is concerned i bet that t-shirt makes up for the last like three weeks of t-shirts uh mostly t-shirt misses um and that's kind of like that's what's so cool about and that's okay so that is also for the record a perfect example of sort of why why this the system somewhat work kind of works for me um it's because that had a 
semi-explicit graphic on it that the thrift store is not going to try to sell. So <clears throat> they put it in these bags. Whoa, okay. Got a vintage t-shirt. Not a huge t-shirt by any means, but it is a Chaps Ralph Lauren t-shirt. Double stitch. It's probably towards the end of... It's got a stain. And it looks like it might come out too. But Chaps Ralph Lauren, spell out. These t-shirts do okay. Um, if I can get that cleaned up, it'll probably sell for 20 bucks, I think. Um, yeah, anything with Ralph Lauren spelled out on it will eventually sell, at least in my experience. Uh, but so back to the back to what I was saying about the rag bags, because I think I had previously mentioned I talked to some of the guys that put these together, and they told me the reason, like a lot of what this stuff is, is stuff they can't sell, um, is like by policy, like they they don't, they don't put um, Bud Light T-shirt, like beer T-shirts or any alcohol or cigarette promoting T-shirts um, in here. Anything that's explicit or seems too iffy, um, they don't put here because they don't want to come across as promoting it because they are a, uh, a they are a thrift store associated with like a um, with a uh, hospital, and so they just are like real cautious about how what they actually end up selling what they promote by selling. So all that stuff ends up here and ends up on this channel. <laughs> Little do they know. Um, so, uh, I guess I'm sort of, I mean, if they approach me, I'd probably be their fence and I could just sell all their, uh, their items for them, uh, that they're not allowed to sell. So, but that sort of was the whole idea is I assume that there's t-shirts that, you know, oh, this is, uh, this is the coffee shop. My, this is funny cause this is the coffee shop. Um, 1040 Coffee, my brother, uh, Micah, started um, a couple years before he passed away from cancer. So this is really cool uh, to find it here. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I've done, I haven't done anything about cleaning. Uh, my wife is the expert on the cleaning one, so I'd have to get her, like, to get her to do it. And she's talked about, you know, okay, eventually she'll get to it. Um we have a couple methods that I don't think are particularly like um, revolutionary, but it is helpful um, to have a couple different ways to approach something, depending on like what the color is. When cut, when it colors involved, it's always the hardest. Uh, what's this? No, uh, I don't think that's anything. Definitely not terribly old. It's on a field. Don't need to ask something. Not that old. Uh, so here, ex example, Bud Light. They couldn't sell that. That's why we got it. But yeah, we probably should. Oh, check it out. We got some. Uh, what are these? The uh, not vintage. These are not any one of the specific. These aren't, these aren't blazers. These aren't the blazers. What are they called? I don't know. Got some kid Nikes, but only one. Uh, the favorite way to wear t-shirts out here in the country, uh, with this gigantic cut down so they can see all the way down your side. I, ugh, it bothers me. Um, mostly cause, mostly cause, um, I don't get your, the t-shirts that are cool. They're like destroyed by the time I can get to them. Yeah. So it's completely selfish. All right. Bag at number one, two, three, four. This is bag number four. All right, so we already had a big hit. We got a, a vintage, a perfect circle T-shirt. Um, I'll show it again. We'll do a recap. We got an Ed Hardy T-shirt. Um, I'll probably try to sell this since I already own it. It's in good condition. There was a time when some of these Ed Hardy T-shirts actually sold okay. Um, I think probably the most I would expect to get from it's like 15, 20 bucks. But um, again, since I literally own these now, um, instead of just like, uh, donating them back somewhere. Oh, is that a North Face tea? Yeah. We'll hold on to the North Face tea. Or we'll sell it. Or I know people that want, want stuff like that. Um, yeah, instead of just donating them back to a different uh, thrift store or using them around the, the farm here, 
Um, you know, it's 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 worth my time and money to try to make back some of this stuff, even if it's like less desirable, harder to sell stuff. Um, because if you've seen any of the videos, all right, bro. Th thanks. Yeah. If 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 uh, if I catch another banger, uh, it'll probably be the thumbnail. So so you'll know. But appreciate you stopping by and watching. G glad you caught the big the big hit so far. All right. Let's see. Come on. Ooh. Nope, nothing. I thought that looked somewhat old. All right. So, yeah, if you uh, – I haven't said this yet, but I normally do try to say it. Uh, if you don't know what in the world is going on here, um, thank you for making it this far, uh, not knowing really what was going on. Uh, but what we do is we buy these rag bags from local thrift stores. And these bags are t typically intended to be sold to, like, mechanic shops um, and used to clean up oil spills and stuff like that. Um, we come in and buy the T-shirts, the bags of T-shirts, typically mostly of T-shirts. Sometimes it's really literally of of uh, actual rags and, like, like this, like rags like this. Um, but when they don't have the stuff like that, we have t they have just regular old T-shirts. And we buy them and open them up here live and search them for vintage T-shirts like the a Perfect Circle T-shirt we pulled out earlier uh, because that T-shirt is probably worth over $100. So um, I pay, well, for these bags, I paid $6 a piece. I get some other bags occasionally from some, oh, look at this. A little Nicole Miller wallet. I wonder if there's anything in it. Wouldn't that be something? Open up a wallet and there's just cash in it. Talk about a way. I'm, I'm sure they check that, but maybe not. You never know. Never, ever know. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's any money in it. I have found many things in people's po clothes pockets that I don't think they intended to have in there, uh, like silver coins I have found. So uh, I found... That's what I found. I found money, obviously. I found cash, you know, several times. In fact, one time, and I don't know what how you feel about the ethics of this, but I, I remember I was uh, looking through some clothes, and I found a pair of jeans, women's jeans, and um, I noticed something was in the pocket, and it turned out it was cash. So I was like, okay, well, you know what? This... This cash, you know, is a part of the T-shirt, and so I or part of the jeans. So I went and bought the jeans. The jeans were fairly worthless. In fact, no, I actually may have sold the jeans, but they're fairly worthless. But there was eleven dollars inside. I paid three dollars, so I pocketed seven. Um, made sense, you know. Morally, it made sense to me because it's not like you know, I what it was in the item that I purchased. But uh, but yeah, I made seven dollars that day, and I think I sold the jeans eventually for a few bucks all right reagan sorry i have your blanket so it says here some baby clothes oh we got rug rats but probably not yeah but not the rug rats we got a few uh weeks ago unfortunately i would love to find another one of those tees uh we got some some like native scene girl uh, oh. All right, this is the last bag, and it's bigger. Oh, this is kind of cool. Anyone know what this is? Anyone got any, any idea? I mean, I know what this is, an octopus. It's pretty worn, and it doesn't... The tag is like... It's a Gildan tag, so it's newer Gildan, but it doesn't seem like it's that old. It's kind of cool. If you know what it is, let me know. If you know if it's like a reference to something or whatever. Um... I'm not aware of it. It's a lot of things I'm not aware of. I'm still learning just like you and all of us. What's this? Oh, we have a Globetrotters tee. That's cool. Oh, it's signed. 2015 World Tour Auto yeah, with autographs. That's kind of cool. I'm going to hold on to that. Maybe somebody, maybe a Harlem Globetrotters fans out there really loved it. 
definitely worth trying to sell. I don't know. Oftentimes, the guys in the Harlem Globetrotters are not, you know, they're they have not ever been professionals, but sometimes that's not that's you know not the case. Sometimes they have been professionals and had some notoriety maybe in college. All right, come on. His last bag, though, we already had probably the hit of the night that I will show you guys. If you're just now popping in, I'll show you guys in a few minutes once I've uh, we've gone through this a bit. We finished up this last bag and we hit the recap. Remember, you can always ask me questions, vintage clothing questions, Levi's questions, whatever, uh, in the chat uh, if you want. This is just a good time to hang out and uh, get your questions answered. If if you've been you know watching some of the, like the Levi's videos and you had a question about your Levi's, uh, I'll do my best in these videos to to uh, answer those questions for you or uh, point you in the direction that uh, we can get your an your question answered more thoroughly. What is this, Merrill? It's kind of cool, Merrill T-shirt. See, is it, is it vintage? Um, so made in Mexico. I think this is a vintage Merrill T-shirt. It's not. Uh, enjoy and search. I think this may be vintage Merrill T-shirt. This tag is definitely an uh, older tag. It's the made of you know assembled in Mexico from U.S. Fab cotton or fabric. Tin that typically is indicative of it being from like the late 90s, early 2000s, because that was a very common um, uh, way they described their product, the print production. Oh, there we go. We got some uh, friends, T-shirts. I'm fine. Everything's fine. Great show. My wife and I like watch it every, seems like every uh, two years we'll watch the whole, the whole thing through. All right, let's see. All right, come on now. All right, we're we're getting to the end of this one. Really hoping to find one more, one more hit. Let's get one more hit. If not, I mean, I'll be okay. I'll survive. We got a big hit. Got a big hitter. That definitely makes this video and this these bags worth opening and worth buying. Um, ooh, anyone want some uh, vintage of Mary Kay crop top? What? Can I get some? Uh, can I get some? It's mainly USA by Allure. I think Allure does have vintage stuff, and this is single stitch. It's vintage Mary Kay, y'all. I I don't. I man, I don't know. Oh, up, 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 Ride free, everybody. Yes, we did another one. Woo! We got ride free to eternal life. This actually may be what this is, is uh, 2000. I actually have this t shirt, uh, like in brand new condition, but these vintage uh, Jesus uh, uh, Harley Davidson t shirts are, are pretty popular. Uh, I've sold this one for 50 or so dollars. So good hit right here. Yeah, it's a little worn. It's a little bit worn, but that's okay. People like it a little bit faded in. And that's, I have like a dead stock version of that in the inventory at present. Picked up not too long ago. So there we go. Another hit. We are, we are feeling good this week. I'm feeling, what's this? Okay. We got... This is like a newer Delta, you know, Dreamcatcher, Eagles, Wolves, you know, a lot of native, native American imagery. I'm not sure if it's, you know, actually natives that are producing these, not just some white people appropriating their culture or whatever, but um, sometimes these do pretty good. Sometimes they don't. I'm not sure this one actually would do any, any, any. Well, we got Tennessee River. Rock and Lava Diner, double stitch. This is not that old. Okay, cool t-shirt looking though. Cool looking t-shirt. All right, this last little bit. Let's hope 
We can pull out one more, one or two more. One more at least. One more. Come on, give us one more hit. One more. Oh, we got a cool Darth Vader tee. Uh, it is um, not a 2XL. It's not a vintage tee, but um, I've got a couple Star Wars fans in my life that love this stuff. So maybe we'll just hold on, that on, hold on to that for them. All right, coming out of the last few here, everybody. The last few t-shirts. Looks like it's mostly going to be nothing. Last last garment right here, I think, somewhere in here. And it looks like it's just a tank top of sorts. Yeah, tank top. All right, so let's go back through the hits. Um, we first got, you just saw, we have this... Uh, Vintage ride free Harley parody Jesus T. These do pretty well, like fifty dollars there. We have this, what I believe is a vintage Merrill uh, hiking uh, the, the 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 shoe company T-shirt. We got not a vintage T-shirt, but an autographed uh, Harlem Globetrotters T. Um, I don't know that could that could do okay. Um, we got here. We got a North Face T. Just a little graphic tee or a little uh, spell out tee. Uh, we have this Ed Hardy tee, like I said. Don't know if this will sell too well, but probably 10 to 15 bucks out of it. Uh, we got this Vintage Traps Ralph Lauren spell out, uh, probably from at least the late 90s. Does have a stain. Might be able to get it out. Um, uh, I don't know if anyone knows. This is, this, is, this, is, this is Destiny, right? Or something? Let me know. Um, I'm going to hold on to that just for a second. We got this John Anderson anthology tour tee from like the late or early 2000s. We have a polo jeans, probably and probably not vintage polo jeans, but it's spelled out polo jeans because probably 2005 or six, something like that. We got a Garth Brooks tour tee, not vintage, but they do still sell. We have this, uh, you know, bite me souvenir T-shirt, probably from like 1999. Actually, it says it's from 1999. Uh, we have this. This is the first tee. I think one of the first things we pulled out. This like native wolf tee. I have sold in the past, though not in this condition. Um, but then the creme de la creme, the best tee, the most expensive and valuable T-shirt we have here is the a perfect circle tee. Uh, it's, it's a little explicit on the front, so we got to be careful. Um, but, and I don't know anything about a perfect circle, but I do know that they have sort of like a cult following. They might literally have a cult following because um, I think they are into like the goth rock stuff. Oh, and we have this uh, vintage Mary Kay crop tee. <laughs> uh, so anyway, uh, big hit there. That's probably the most valuable tee. I'd say 100 plus for sure. So um, all in, we spent $30 on the rag bags. Definitely going to make that out of that one t-shirt. And then we have these handful of t-shirts, probably make another you know, close to a hundred total out of that. So in the green on that, had a good time opening with you guys. Uh, there are no more questions. If no one else has any questions, um, I think we're going to go ahead and wrap it up. So if you have questions, go ahead and uh, pop them in the chat. If you just want to say hi, let us know where you're watching from. Uh, we do appreciate you guys watching and tuning in. Um, I think we'll keep doing this on Monday nights. Um, as long as people are actually able to watch, if there's another night that you, you personally would like better, just leave us a comment in the chat or in the video when it goes to playback and let us know, uh, so that we can make a, you know, a more, uh, engaging, uh, little event for you guys. Um, otherwise, uh, we really appreciate you guys. Love you guys. Stay safe. We'll see you guys later. Peace.